So it's day 77 and um, remember last night when I said I had a sty and it was, uh, I was excited to see what that would look like. Well, I suppose this is what I'm looking like today. Still cute though, you know? Mm -hmm. Ugh. I was maybe going to socially distance meet a friend in the meadows today. But the combination of itchy eyes from hay fever and itchy eye from sty making me reconsider that uh, possibility. Eee. So this is where we're at. I've got hot water on a towel, leaning on it. It's like an antihistamine for the hay fever. And we're just going to kind of sit like this for a while and see what happens. Hell yeah. My hair is so long, I have wings. It actually, in the wind, lifts up. This looks like my hair when I was in, like, secondary school. For the majority of secondary school, this was my hair. Except with... Oh, that was embarrassing, I just dripped. Except for, I had more of a Justin Bieber front flick, you know? Anyway. Thank you to everyone who gave me remedies to kind of help us die. It's better, it's not gone, but I have I've maintained it enough to be not sore at least. So, thank you. Anyway, I'm outside. It's lovely weather, it's not too hot today, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna get hit by a bike. Um, I'm off for a socially distanced meetup. This is exciting. Get to see fresh faces. Uh, we get to actually see people other than Abby and Joby. No offense to them, they're lovely people, but uh, it's been 11 weeks. I'm quite excited to see someone else, you know? I'm sure a lot of you feel the same about whatever situation you're staying in. So, yeah, gonna be a nice afternoon. Well, I had a lovely day in the sun. I am. Um, I think my leg is the best bit to show. I don't know if you can tell. It's quite red. Which means I've definitely caught the sun a bit. My sty has gone down a bit. It's definitely still there. It's still red and it's a bit sore, but... It's alright. And now I'm having dinner. And I thought I was going to be good and make a salad. Um... And then made way too much food because I assumed a salad wouldn't be heavy, and then <laughs> it is. So here's my here's my food. It's a and there's guac. I made guac as well. It's a tuna and ham salad, homemade croutons, which I'm quite proud of. Gluten free bread. I just kind of fried them in a little bit of butter. They're massive for croutons, but they're good. And then a bit of egg, tomato, onion, avocado. Very good. Two mini anecdotes for the day. The red onion I used in my, my glorious guac there um, was like a day old. So I used half of it yesterday, I believe, and just sealed the other half and put it in the fridge. And I'm not sure if this is good science, but uh, it doesn't taste as oniony because it's obviously Oh, it's oxidized, I think. It's reacted to the air. It's made it quite sweet. Uh, and so my guac, I actually prefer today because... Have I got guac on my face? <laughs> it, because it tastes a little bit sweeter than normal. And I'm a fan. Second anecdote. Uh, yes, second anecdote is uh, that I had to cut my meeting, my lovely social distance meeting with Chloe, my friend today, short because... Uh, I need to pee, and I'm not used to being anywhere that doesn't have a bathroom. Uh, I forget that when you're outside for a certain amount of times, you may not have access to a toilet. Um, this is very like, I know I'm lucky to have this problem, or to not have this problem rather normally, but yes, being in lockdown has really made me forget how you usually live your normal life in that. You know, you gotta know when you need to pee and not just, like if I was, before if I was going out for a daily activity that I knew it'd be a few hours, I'd make sure to pee before, but I didn't even think about it today because I've not had to think about that for three months.
not gonna lie, I, I hadn't intended to uh, post that, but I found it quite amusing myself, so I hope you enjoyed me looking at my own eye. I don't have a mirror in my bedroom, so anytime I want to look at anything in reflection of myself, I use my phone, because camera. So I opened Instagram and was gonna vlog, and then on Instinct, just saw the sty and wanted to check it out. And then, uh, yeah, because I don't have a mirror, I suppose I got distracted anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. Can't even remember what I was going to be vlogging about. It'll come back to me in a sec. I remembered. I was literally sat here for like like the past five minutes just trying to think of what I was going to say. Which is... I remembered what I was going to say. Which was that... I, so it was very warm, right? But I'm in my own flat, so I was just, I was gonna go take my top off, because, you know, cooled myself down. And then I remembered I have a Zoom call with my mates in, like, half an hour just to play a game. And it's not weird for me to be shirtless in front of them, but it just feels very weird to be shirtless in my own home, but on Zoom to my friends. It's just, it's just a weird situation that I've never had to think about before, which that I do now, which is just, you know, okay, it wasn't as interesting, but, you know. I hope you enjoyed. So it's the end of another day, and it was quite a nice day. Went to what a little bit got to go outside and see my mates, which was nice. My eyes look so dark again. It's crazy. I I haven't watched much anime, but the few things of anime I've watched, their eyes are always like jet black, right? When they're like they turn to evil, or whatever. And every time I see myself when my eyes are like this, I just think I'm like one of them. Anyway, here's my sunburn. It's definitely coming out a bit and it's on my nose as well. Not ideal, but you know, it'll turn into a tan, hopefully. So, you know, that's good. We got that going for us. But yeah, I don't, I didn't leave enough time in this 40 second segment for the outro. So give me a sec and I will do the outro. I hope the only thing you catch is me, I saw later. So day 77. Tomorrow starts week 12. Tomorrow, I believe, would have been or is the last week of the 12 week period that at risk people were asked to remain isolated, socially distanced. I don't know what the rules were. I didn't, can't remember. It didn't apply to me as someone who's not at risk. So, but yes. Next week would technically be the last week of the 12 week period thing that they were talking about at the start of all this, which is crazy to think about. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope you sleep well and have a great, great morning before I post the opening of tomorrow's vlog.